Hello beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. Rohini here with another pregnancy related video. <laughs> welcome to my office, aka the couch, in our rental house. Pretend that this is beautiful white painted shiplap and this is our couch. It's not clawed up from our cats, just pretend. <laughs> in today's video, I'm super pumped because I'm gonna be sharing what's on my registry. I've had a few of you ask me to do this video and I found that this video is very helpful when I watched it from other mamas, so um, I wanted to share it. Something I'll say right at the beginning is that my registry may be a bit different than others that you've seen or what you yourself might do. I'm really trying to have a minimalist approach to this whole baby, baby stuff. <laughs> this whole idea of collecting baby stuff. Blue. Please, uh, I'm trying to record. The internet and just society and all of the stores and Instagram ads and all the things make it seem like we need so much stuff to have a baby, to have a healthy, happy baby, and that's really not true. I mean, we really, the baby needs love, it needs milk, and it needs safety and attention, really. So those are like the core needs and everything else is just a bonus. Um, so I'm trying to really keep that in mind because I don't want to just fall into like a super consumer mindset and just collect a bunch of stuff. And also, our our house that we're building right now, let's hope it's done by the time baby's here, <laughs> um, doesn't have that much room in it. So I don't have, you know, I'm not going to have a nursery. I don't have a whole separate room for baby, which I actually love because it's 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 inviting me to really narrow down what I actually feel is necessary. So this is my minimalist baby registry with very um, natural views in mind. I'm having a home birth, that's my plan. <laughs> I have been seeing midwives, I don't go to an OB, I didn't do ultrasounds. I'm very natural um, and holistic minded with my pregnancy. I'm going to be on demand breastfeeding. I'm not gonna be pumping unless absolutely necessary. Um, I'm going to be co-sleeping. A few of these things may sound familiar to you and those are just the choices that I'm making for my baby. Of course, you make the choices that you feel is best for your baby. That's, that's what this mamahood thing is all about. A lot of my things in my registry are, you know, geared towards that like granola, <laughs> granola holistic natural mindset. So that being said, let's get into the video. I'm just going to be like looking at it on here and then I'll have a screen recording and we'll just, we'll just talk about it. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Give Blue a like for being so cute. Let's get into the registry. So I made my registry off of baby lists because that's what I've seen my friends do and I thought it works pretty well. Um, so let's just get started here. Also, just because I'm being minimalist doesn't mean I didn't add cute, fun, like clothes and books and things onto, you know, onto the registry. It's more of the expensive, like high ticket items that the internet makes you feel like you need, but you don't necessarily need. Um, I don't feel like we need. So I'm still, I still like nice things, <laughs> but I'm trying to be, you know, conscious of what I'm, I'm getting. So anyway, I have this section at the top. This video is sponsored by PD Paula, which I am so excited about. Uh, I've been really, really craving some new jewelry pieces, and these are so stunning. PD Paula is an internationally recognized brand. They're in more than 2,000 points of sale worldwide, and they're actually headquartered in Barcelona. And something that I love is that this company was founded by a sibling duo who left architecture and finance and fulfilled their vision creating this industry changing jewelry brand. These pieces are from their new vanilla collection and I am so, so drawn to this beautiful lapis, lapis set. There's a ring, there's this necklace, there's these beautiful like drop down earrings and these hoops are also from PD Paula. And it's just this like very lovely set. I feel much more put together. I've been looking for some very simple, timeless pieces that I can just continue to wear throughout this pregnancy, throughout baby, um, that just go with everything but add a bit of excitement <laughs> to my everyday appearance. So I'm really, really excited about these. There's something really wonderful about having a matching set. I feel, you know, 
very ready for the day, ready for date night. All of the pieces come in these little bags, which I love because when you travel, you can just pop them in here. So you don't have to worry about losing them or getting them all tangled. And you can also just use these bags for so many other things. I love having little cute storage bags. I also love that they have both silver and gold rings. I personally like to mix and match my metals. Like my nose ring is gold, but my, you know, this one's silver and I like to mix it, match it around. So I love that they have both and I think they can go together in a really fun way. I love that they have the real gems in here bringing in that pop of color. This vanilla collection has a lot more other beautiful pieces and I would highly recommend that you all check it out if you're looking for some beautiful jewelry that has a nice wide range of styles that's still very trendy but also pretty timeless. Thank you PD Paola for sponsoring this video and for adorning me in these beautiful jewels. I feel so feminine and just luxurious. I love, I love, I love jewelry so, so much. If you would like to shop these pieces, we can be matching Rock the Lapis earrings. You can use my discount code Rohini15 for 15% off and of course shop the link down below. Please check out this collection. So many beautiful pieces. Um, adorn yourself, ladies. Be the Venusian goddesses that you are. Enjoy. Highly recommend is for a for mama section. Um, things that I would love postpartum for breastfeeding, for birth, for all the things. Um, and honestly, there's more that I could add on here, but this is what I have right now. Um, this beautiful long cape, I'll just click on it so you can see it. It's expensive. <laughs> um, so we'll see if I actually end up getting it. But um, it is this stunning kind of like robe dress but it looks it looks more like a dress than a robe but it's made out of 100% um, cotton which is really important to me and I feel like laboring in this will be so beautiful it's flowy I can open it up but it's also beautiful you know I want to feel beautiful in some ways when I'm laboring because I'm going into the most primal <laughs> important rite of passage of my life so I want to I want to feel like the goddess that I am while I'm giving birth you know um, and also it's great for breastfeeding as well. So that's that. Um, these Eberge or Eberge, I don't know how to say, um, uh, pajamas, I've heard that they're amazing. I've had pajamas from them in the past and they're very soft. Um, this isn't really loading, but anyway, I want some good pajamas that have a button up top so I can easily breastfeed. It's going to be winter when baby comes. This nursing bra from Stork I thought is so, so cute. It's all floral and very feminine and kind of like fun and playful. A lot of the nursing bras I've seen are just like really intense. Well, anywho, my internet's being slow. We are in the country. Um, yeah, this, this Stork nursing bra seems really sweet. I also got a bra from Seraphine Maternity or Seraphina that I've been already wearing and I love it. So that's another recommendation. Um, I also have these really pretty maternity shorts. They're just big and they have a cute pattern and they're cotton from Juem Women. Um, and I have a little postpartum meal fund on here if anyone wants to donate. We might hire a postpartum doula to do meal prep. She also might do our, uh, our, our birth photography, we'll see. So I think it'd be really beautiful for friends and family to contribute in that way if they want to, to donate so we can um, get some nourishing meals so we can all just relax and enjoy baby and not have to cook. Next up, getting into feeding. This is definitely one of the priciest items on the whole dang list and I really did my research with this high chair. <laughs> There's so many different brands. I know the stocky one is super popular. This is the one that I like the most, the Tobo Evolving High Chair from Charlie Crane Paris. I like this one because the design is very minimal and sleek and this chair will go with the baby until he is, I think it's a boy, we don't know for sure. So if I have a baby girl in future videos, you know, I don't know for sure, we're not finding out the gender, but I think feel like it's a boy. Anyway, um, once he, he can sit in this chair until he's ready to sit in an adult chair basically, which I really like that. So 
it's a good investment. It's not just a temporary thing just for baby. It has a newborn insert and then it can grow with him. And I think this style is, is nice and it's not like too distracting. Um, have some cute little organic baby burp cloths. Oh, it's so many cute, everything. I'm like, oh, so cute. I can't wait to have it. So these, I love this check pattern. This brand Mushy is very cute. Everything that I have on here for baby is 100% organic cotton. I feel really strongly about that. I don't want any chemicals anywhere near their little precious newborn skin. Next up, someone bought me this already. Hi. Uh, the Haka breast pump. It's like one that you just kind of put on. It's not uh, like electric powered or anything. From what I understand, it just catches the extra milk. Like if you're nursing on one boob, you can have this on the other and it'll collect anything that comes out. And my friends say that it's really helpful. So I put that on there. I also have some reusable nursing pad sets to put in the bra for when I'm out and I'm leaking or whatever happens. Just a good thing to have. And I like that they're reusable and they're cotton. And then I also have the Haka Ladybug, which I've heard is nice. I don't know how much I'll actually use it, but um, some people swear by it. And it's kind of a similar thing. It'll collect the extra milk and you can actually put it in your bra when you're out and about. So it'll collect the milk while you're on the go. Um, I have this little breast pump. It's just a hand pump. Again, I'm going to be breastfeeding on demand and not pumping unless it's absolutely necessary. As of now, of course, this all might shift once baby's here, but this is my plan now. I don't feel the need to ask for a really expensive, you know, electric pump because that's not what I'm envisioning. If, if it needs to happen later, it will, but right now I think this one's fine. So next, Earth Mama nipple butter. This is a staple. Every single one of my friends and family who's had a baby recently tells me to get this nipple butter. This is just so cute. Oh my god. This reversible bib with this bear playing the, I think that's the cello. Yeah, on it. Or stand up bass cello. I don't know. I think it's a cello. Um, it's just so darling. I think this is the cutest thing and I melted when I saw it so I put it on there. Something I'll say too is it's not that I really am expecting or even yeah, I have no expectation of our family and friends buying all this stuff. I'm just using this as a list for me of what I would like for baby and to have. And so, you know, I can just shop off of my own list. Basically, I found that to be very convenient. So and perk, if anyone buys us something, that's just an added an added perk for milk storage. If I do end up having extra milk um, from pumping to store or from the collectors to store, Planning to store my milk in glass mason jars. Um, we don't store anything in plastic, so I don't want to do that for baby. And it's I, I feel that it's perfectly safe. Um, and then next up, I have this stainless steel infant bottle. And Sage is cracking up because this is pretty much the exact same one he had as a as a kiddo. Um, and yeah, stainless steel I feel much better about versus plastic. And this also can grow with baby. Um, it's not just for newborns. Uh, it's just more durable too. I feel like it'll be a very useful thing to have as they grow up. Um, next up are the glass baby bottles that I have. Again, um, for me, I don't feel comfortable using plastic. So these glass ones are a good option. And the last. Silver nursing cups, I've heard these are great if um, you know your nipples are sore or cracking or having mastitis, any problems, or just you just want some more support, which I imagine it will. I've heard breastfeeding is it's it's a full-time job and it's it can be really difficult at times. Sometimes it can be really beautiful and easy, so I'm open to all possibilities. But these I've heard are great, so I put them on there. You just put them in your bra over your nipples and it, it soothes it and the silver is very, very healing. Next up, I have this feeding support pillow in the shape of a moon so it can, you know, go around your belly. 
from Snuggle Me Organic. And I've heard from friends, again, that having a breastfeeding support pillow is really, really helpful because especially when they're so little, it's hard, really hard on your back to have to bend over. It's just not sustainable for your health of your back. So having a support pillow is great so you can have baby right up there. Um, and this one just seemed super cute. These next couple things are just kind of fun. They're not really necessary for baby. It's more like for once he's a little older and um, even toddler age, but I just, again, this is my list. <laughs> so I added it on there. Uh, one of my friends, Ellie, has this really cute forage feeder for her son and she puts like avocado or mango or strawberry mashed up in this feeder and then he takes it out on his little walk or she can, you know, freeze something in there and it's like a little popsicle. I just love that idea, any way to get in some whole foods in, into baby's belly um, once, once that's, you know, doable. I think it's just a good idea. And the plastic things I do have are all BPA free, very um, heavily tested for toxins. Yeah, next up, some I saw this and I just thought it was really cool, breast milk popsicle tray. And I mean, you could put anything in the, it doesn't have to be breast milk, but I think that's so such a clever way to store your breast milk and then they can have a little popsicle when it gets warm. The first bites kit from Lalo. All of the babies and toddlers I know have this feeding kit my nephew does and it just seems like it works really well it's very practical this is I'm a little iffy on this because it is plastic although it's you know very heavily tested it makes sense to have this bib be you know plastic so you can wipe it down we'll see it's one of those things I'm kind of gonna feel out and see how I feel about it versus how much harder is it really to have him use a real bowl and dish probably not that hard we'll see I just put it on there I've got some muslin organic cotton bibs on there. This is a cover for the Snuggle Me Organic lounger, which I already have. Someone beautiful sister bought it for, for us. It's in the closet. I screamed when it got delivered. I was so excited. Um, but just having a cover for it so I can wash it. This next thing is a weighted sleep swaddle. Um, just I've heard that those are nice. Again, it's not necessary at all, but I just thought I'd put it on there. Then the, the infant lounger, and next up, another swaddle. This brand Colored Organics has a lot of really cute things, all organic. I think this pattern is just so darling, so, so, so darling. This Hush Compact sound machine, all my friends say this is amazing if you're taking baby out in the car or on a walk or anything like that and um, just needing some soothing noises. I've heard that it's great. So we are co-sleeping, um, which is my preference and um, what I plan to do for all my kiddos. So I don't feel the need to have, um, you know, like a, a certain crib that's really optimized for baby's sleep habits because baby's gonna be with me. So this is just, I love this design. It's so classic, it's just, this is what I imagined when I imagined having a baby as <laughs> a bassinet like this, like truly out of a, like a picture book or something. So this is on my list, you know, if baby is taking a nap, I can put him down in the bassinet. Yeah, if baby's taking a nap, I can put him down in there, he can rest, and I'm not gonna get the that frilly one, but it is really, really cute. Probably just get white or some other fabric I'm not sure but I think this one is so sweet it's from Pottery Barn it is expensive but I'll use it for all of the kids we're planning to have you know quite a few kids so it'll be a good investment and this is what it looks like without the skirt I think it's so cute um, very simple and just timeless in my opinion and will you know look great in any room and will go with us with all of our kids so I think it's a good investment um, cloths some swaddles I've heard it's great to have a bunch of those really sweet little baby blanket that someone already got us so exciting Lu luna and luca has a lot of great things as well oh this bl baby blanket is so so sweet oh my god <laughs> Ooh, so excited. um this is a uh kapok pad from design duo that will go in either the bassinet or in i have this like vintage baby basket that I got at an antique mall and I have a, I, I think my plan is that this pad will go fit in there um, 
and I'm gonna carry baby out <laughs> in in this little basket have him in the garden and while he still fits in there of course um and yeah so this pad is from a good brand organic and yeah i like it and then it has a waterproof sheet as well for diapering i really like this brand pair they have a lot of really sweet oh it's gone um a lot of sweet baby items this is a diaper bag that I got one of my friends got it for us already I'm so thrilled about that um, it's just simple and sweet and fun like when I think of motherhood I'm just thinking of joy and and joy joy and ecstasy and play and like connecting with my inner child too as I'm like tuning into this this child's inner world and there's just so much happening so I just want fun patterns and like beautiful uplifting colors and things and they have a lot of really nice colors so i opted for the yellow and it looks like it has you know all the pockets all the things and will be super practical and it's not it's expensive it's not crazy expensive some of the diaper bags i've seen are like 600 dollars, which is just not not happening um and then it also has a, a matching changing pad it's sold out but my friend got it i believe before it sold out it has a matching changing pad that's really cute that i can take to change diapers on the go and i've heard that especially for postpartum the first you know couple months it's great to have a caddy with all of the things that you need when you're breastfeeding having water and electrolytes in there having diapers having um, wiping cloths having your nipple butter just having everything that you need in one caddy that you carry around all around the house so you don't have to continue to get up you know if you're breastfeeding you just have everything right there you don't have to disrupt the process to get up so that's kind of my idea with that as well as some diaper storage and then this is just a, a pouch like a reusable bag to go in the uh, diaper pail. We are planning to use cloth diapers, reusable diapers, and we're getting a very good hearty washing machine <laughs> for the task. But I really feel it's important to try and just give it our all, really try the cloth diapering. I've heard it can be difficult, I've heard it can be great, um, and I just feel the best about it. Of course, if we're traveling or whatever and it just doesn't seem like practical, to have these cloth diapers then maybe i'll go and buy some of the coterie diapers or something for the trip whatever it is but for now i'm really feeling good about doing cloth diapers so uh i have a few different brands on here that i've heard are good i just wanted to try out a few different ones um and yeah the first one's from green mountain diapers it's more affordable they have more diapers for the price I got some um, organic cotton flannel washable unbleached wipes um, just to wipe baby, toss that in the diaper pail, and then wash wash that too. This Jai Baby Balm, I love living libations. They're one of my favorite brands, really pure, natural botanicals, and this, uh, this balm is great for all rashes, all skin irritants on baby, just anything that's going on with baby this is a kind of one all healing self this basket i think is so beautiful as a changing basket um, it's hand woven it's made with natural materials and yeah baby can be put in there when we're changing the ubi the ubi diaper pail my my nephew has that one everybody i've seen has this brand and loves it so that's the one i put on there one of the more pricier items, but I feel like it's a very good investment since it's gonna be near the bed. <laughs> Some other diapers that we're trying are from Assembly Baby. They have, there's different methods, like some of them just have an insert, some of them have a whole cloth diaper and then a outer diaper that protects the cloth, so I wanted to try both. And I've heard good things about Assembly Baby, so we shall see. I'll keep y'all updated, I'll do videos on all of this. The Solly baby wrap oh i heard that these are just the most precious thing i plan to baby wear pretty much all the time and um these soft wraps just seem so so nice and nourishing and baby can have little cozy naps and again organic cotton so i really like this pattern it's the poppy wrap in the poppy pattern um so so sweet this is kind of like a, a dream, dreamy item. It's not definitely not necessary, but it's really beautiful. This rocker from Charlie Crane, same brand as the high chair. 
um, and it's a collaboration which is why it's this really cute pattern so uh, it goes with them from birth to seven months and you just you know they can hang out in there you can rock you can put like some toy interest above them and they can look at that and again this will go you know go along with every baby that we have I think the patterns really really cute and the design is just seamless stroller I've heard great things about the Nuna brand and so we're asking for the Nuna Pippa system that is uh, the car seat that then can go into the stroller so it seems and then the stroller easily collapses and goes into cars because we don't live in the city we live in the country literally the middle of the country um the only time we're ever going to need this is when we're traveling um i'm planning to baby wear in the grocery store up until like i can't anymore so this is mostly going to be for traveling um yeah and I've, I've heard that this is a good one and I like the design of it too and it's very well rated. Kind of extra but another possible diaper bag or just mama bag to put a bunch of things in from Stork. I like the simple design. And then uh, the Hakka baby electric nail trimmers. At first I was like, is this really necessary? But all my friends swear by it. I saw in a bunch of videos, it really does make a difference with their little nails. Um, they can come out sharp, so I figured it was, you know, why not? Um, one of the more high-tech things. Sage was like, why? Why do we need that? But, you know, I feel, I feel like it's it makes sense. And then the other high-tech thing is this fancy thermometer. Um, we don't have a thermometer right now, so I feel like it would be great to have for the whole family. Um, and I like that. It's just touchless and easy. Bathing, Primally Pure is an amazing organic brand and they have a baby kit, which I was so excited to find. Has powder, um, balm, soap, and oil, so pretty much everything you need. And then I put another baby soap bar on there as well for bath time. Just want it to be so, 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 so gentle. My skin is so sensitive. I can't even imagine how babies is gonna be after being in the womb. Like, I just want everything to be so sensitive no no sense if not very minimal natural sense and just the most nourishing ingredients um this really cute organic towel oh my god with the ears everything with the little ears just kills me i want all the ear ear stuff so yeah little towel after bath time and then some washcloths for bath time and then i have a ton of books on here i'm not going to go over all of them but I want to have a very robust nursery for baby. That's one thing I'm not minimalist about. I loved reading from a very young age and my parents read to me all the time. So I plan to do that as well. I still love reading so much. Um, and so, yeah, here's some books. Story of the Root Children. Here we are. Notes for Living on Planet Earth. Look, look. All the places look go. Good night, moon. Guess how much I love you. Velveteen Rabbit, Where the Wild Things Are. A lot of classics. Chick Chick Boom Boom, On the Night You're Born, Blueberries for Sal. Oh, actually, apparently I already have this one. My brother got for me. Blueberries for Sal, Rain Makes Applesauce. I asked on Instagram what your favorite baby books are, so a lot of these are actually your recommendations. Complete Brambly Hedge, The Little Soul in the Sun, I Am Human, I Am Love, Hug Who Got Stuck, Invisible String, Giving Tree. Yeah, those are some. And then this... I really, really, really love this. Um, I just think it's so precious. This hummingbird and bee and butterfly mobile made handmade out of felt. It makes me want to cry. It's like so beautiful. And one of the ways my mom shows up in my life um, as a spirit animal is as a hummingbird. So whenever I see a hummingbird, I feel her presence with me. And so I just love the idea of having her her spirit hovering over baby um, when he's taking a nap in there and just just being there with him. I really love that. So I'm gonna definitely order that. If someone doesn't buy it, I'm gonna order it. Even though it's not necessary, it's just so sweet. Um, a few more books and then some clothes. I'm trying to go fast because I know this is long. Got some really cute little cotton bloomers. I love when babies just wear their little bloomers. From Jamie K, The Simple Folk, got this thermal bodysuit because it is going to be winter when baby's born. From Burt's Bees Baby, more stuff from Burt's Bees Baby. Pear, this really cute three-piece, footed romper, fleece, 
little hooded thingy, which you can't get that in cotton because they just don't make fleece out of cotton. But I'm planning to, you know, have layers underneath and then that's like the outdoor parka. Organic socks, some Gumi Kids bamboo PJs, little knitted beanie, do do do, many moons, that's a good brand. This set is to die for. This is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh God, I love the blue color. <laughs> the newborns and knits, like, just kill me. More bloomers. Um, yeah, these ones are really cute from Luna and Luca. These knit overalls, are you kidding me? Little booties, ah, oh, I die. So excited. So yeah, those are some clothes. Again, mostly just for me to remember the brands and all of that. And then a few things for playing. Um, this little baby-sized sheepskin rug to have him lay on if he's on the, the ground. I'd rather him lay on that really yummy, natural sheepskin that's super soft than like a plastic mat or whatever. Um, and I can also put the sheepskin in the uh, in the bassinet or in the, um, the basket or wherever. And then also, Put on here a subscription to Love Every or Love Love Very. I don't know how to say it. The uh, play kits. I've heard those are great. Um, it's customized to the baby's age, and every month they send like a little box of toys that are good for that age and for their development. So I thought that was cool. And that's my registry. When I look at it, I'm like, wow, there's so much extra stuff. Like there truly is. Even for being minimalist, that's a lot of stuff. We will see how I feel <laughs> after baby's here. I'll do, you know, videos later on, like what I wish I didn't buy, what I didn't need, or what I loved, all of that. But for now, this is what I have, and I hope it was helpful or just gave you some ideas of what you might want on your registry, and um, some ideas for brands as well. I think it's it was harder than I thought to find, like, good brands with organic materials and, um, nice aesthetics <laughs> so hopefully yeah you got some inspiration thank you for asking me to do this video and thank you for tuning in and thank you to pd paula for sponsoring this video i love this jewelry all right bye guys take care see you soon